Well, I think it's a, a great opportunity to build bridges between clinical practice and research because uh, historically the clinicians have tended to, to learn how to practice acupuncture from their teachers and haven't looked much at the research base and increasingly the evidence for acupuncture is getting stronger and stronger and that evidence can start to inform clinical practice and can help in the education and standards of um, the clinicians. So it's a bridge building exercise which I think is very valuable to connect the, the clinicians with the, the researchers. Well one of the, the debates about acupuncture is to what extent is acupuncture a placebo? Now clearly the placebo effect is part of a treatment but my contribution I want to show, one of the things I want to show is how uh, acupuncture is better than a placebo quite substantially and there's a strong evidence base emerging especially in the area of chronic pain where we're seeing an additional benefit of maybe 40% of the total benefit being due to true acupuncture beyond sham acupuncture for example. So m my talk is on Sunday and I'm going to look at um, also the, the literature uh, on acupuncture because there's quite a lot of negative trials out there and I want to explain why the trials, some of the trials are negative. Often trials are too small to show effect, an effect and when the trials are big enough they, they tend to show quite a clear and significant effect of acupuncture.